This is a big topic. So what happens when the cell cycle goes wrong? In other words, when a cell um, is supposed to divide, eventually, well, we know a lot of these cells have a finite lifetime, right? We need to replace these dead cells. But what happens when you have cells that, that don't respond to signals of that's the end of your lifetime, that's the end of your existence, you are now to be replaced by new cells. This is when things go wrong and tumors are formed and some of these tumors could develop into cancers. So this is not a good thing. There's lots of good research that's out there and you've, you've heard about cancer for a long time. The point is that these problems can occur in any type of tissue, in any type of organ, in everything from you know, lungs to prostates to breasts to uh, skin, all kinds of places that you've heard of cancer uh, showing up. Some are more common than others. Some may have a genetic component and then a lot of them also have a uh, environmental component as well too. So we won't go into that much depth here for the, the IB syllabus, but just to understand that tumors result when you have uncontrolled cell division. In other words, when cells start to divide and they don't know when to stop dividing. And then so once you get a big mass of cells like this, what will happen is they'll send out signals in order for these cells, even though they're not good cells to stay alive, they need to be able to obtain uh, energy. They need to be able to obtain glucose and obtain oxygen in order to do cell respiration because these cells do contain mitochondria and they have to do respiration. So they end up pulling a lot of resources away from places that uh, need those resources. So that's not a good thing. Um, just some extra information for you, some various types of treatments. There's a lot of good Khan Academy videos out there that explain this in a lot of detail for any of you who are curious and are thinking of going on to study this later on. Um, how do you deal with cancers? Well, one way is surgical remover, re surgical removal. So you can try to get them out through going under the knife, basically, before they spread further. Um, radiation therapy, you've heard about as well, too, where they're pointing strong radiation into a localized point, hopefully to avoid damage to other cells, and then just try to basically kill those cells with intense energy. And then you've heard about the effects of chemotherapy, where people are taking a various uh, a concoction of drugs and medication that try to damage and uh, kill these cells that are constantly dividing. The problem is you have cells in your body that are supposed to be constantly dividing and they're not necessarily cancerous. And so um, these drugs are not specific enough and they end up killing other cells in your body, which is why you get the, the stereotypical image of a cancer patient who has lost uh, their hair and has become infertile because you're destroying their germ cells and they can't actually produce um, any more sperm or, or egg cells because they get damaged as well too. So uh, not a lot here, but definitely a lot of questions that should be generated. So please uh, let me know what kind of questions you have and go ahead and post them in Edmodo. Thanks.